Okie dokie, welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany, and today moving on with our Ascension Symptoms. Uh, have an increased psychic awareness. Um, and we spoke about this when we were talking about the clairs, right? So increased in clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, um, your intuition, all of that feels stronger, all of that, all of that, um, you've increased your sensitivity around that. You are, again, as you ascend and your different abilities come online and you just become more sensitive. Because when you ascend, as you ascend, you 100% are going to become more sensitive. Your energy is going to be more sensitive. Like, my energy was already sent really sensitive because I am an empath. And when this quickening started happening over a year ago, I started to become even more sensitive to people's, um, to people's energy, uh, which prompted me to have to add extra protection where I'm protecting myself from other people's energy and I'm not necessarily absorbing other people's energy. Um, but I think that the Ascension has also played into the fact that I don't necessarily, the little bit of tolerance I had of being around people is, uh, it's, it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It is just, cause the, the, the energy, like I pick up other people's energy and it's just like, I, it's a distraction for me at this point. Um, and so at this point, it's just even more so. I mean, I could I could avoid people for but so long, but because even though I'm introverted, I don't necessarily, I'm not in the house. I try not to be in the house a lot. I like to go out for walks by myself, things of that sort. Mm. So if I'm out in the world, I have to run into people. But... The psychic sensitivity and the psychic abilities, you know, that has increased for me at least significantly, which I like and I want, so I'm not complaining. Um, a lot of it was just kind of was getting used to it because these are some of these abilities I didn't have prior or I'd experienced them once or twice, but now experiencing them all the time. Um, channeling would be a good, a good example of that. Um, having a profound feeling of love, peace, understanding, interconnectedness with all things. My understanding of that have definitely increased. I, I do feel, and it comes in bouts, right? It comes in waves for me at least. Like I would just feel this intense love for everyone and everything, even the things that would normally annoy me. I feel this intense love for, but like I said, it's in bouts because that feeling doesn't stay. Sometimes it's, it stays for a few hours. Sometimes I've had that feeling stay for as long as a few weeks. Um, it's definitely a euphoric feeling of love and peace of happy and, and happiness, which is fantastic. The feeling could be, at least for me, very overwhelming to the point where it brings me to tears sometimes because that's how intense. And I, and I'm saying that knowing I'm just getting a taste of it. I'm not even, I'm probably, I know that I'm not getting, you know, the full Monty. I am just getting a little sliver of of this, of this love, of this, of this, you know, infinite love 
just a little bit of a sample but even that little sliver is enough to just completely overwhelm me and to bring me to tears and I am not a crier but to bring me to tears because the experience is just so OMG and it's nothing to do with the experience and that's where I and for me that's where I screw it up because it's nothing to do with the experience but have the experience um I start having the experience and then anxiety kicks in for me because it's so intense um but then also too I don't necessarily know what to do with it only recently I'm just like okay because it's not necessarily an action behind it there's it's not even though I'm getting this feeling there's no action behind it I just need to manage the feeling I need to ground the feeling ground the energy that's being produced by this feeling I need to ground that within myself and so a lot of the times when you are getting those profound feelings of love and um, understanding and interconnectedness when you are getting those really intense feelings understand that a lot of it a lot of times there's not the only thing you should be doing with that unless you obviously unless you are guided to do something else because I'll be the first one to tell you follow your guides follow their advice but when you get that feeling and it will be intense especially because we're not used to getting that feeling and getting that feeling often my best advice to you is to ground that energy ground that energy make that energy a part of you um, so that you can live from that space and so you know once you start to ground that energy you'll notice that it will lose its intensity um, to the point where you may not even recognize it anymore and it hasn't gone away it's still there it's just that you've acclimated to this new energy and you've also grounded this new energy to help this energy better become a part of you so that now when you do things, when you say things, um, whatever actions you take, it's coming from that space of love and interconnected interconnectedness, having that that better understanding of the world from a spiritual perspective. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.